from Audio Technica. Obviously, this is a, a large model of it. It won't fit on your on your tone arm. And look, you can see that the coils are attached right at the at the front of the cantilever, right at the stylus. And there doesn't seem to be a former around the coil. There's no there's no former around the coils. The coils are just in space, which I don't understand either. And what's interesting about it is, so you're putting a lot of mass right at the stylus tip, which I don't understand either. Of course, somebody can explain this to me. Yes, this here is the, um, this is the magnetic field. Um, so it's a low mass design, but a, a high mass cartridge. Right. Um, so it's, uh, I think, about uh, around 10, 11 grams. Um, it has a, an output voltage of 0.2 millivolts, okay. uh, but a, an impedance of only 3 ohms. That's good. Um, Those are all good things. Yes, yeah, so it... Few coils, two coils. Uh, yeah, it's two coils um, for left and right channels. And there are only eight winds, um, and that is critical here, obviously, because of the magnetic field so close to the cantilever. Right. Um, it's a very, very strong magnet, um, and so each cartridge um, is individually um, set. So I can show you on this model that we can remove uh, both the side and the back. Um, and there is a screw here and here where after it has been manufactured um, the engineers will manually tune every single one to sure. make sure that it is perfectly in the in the right, right position um, for that cartridge. And do they do they specify a channel separation? Yes absolutely uh, so the channel separation is um, 30 decibels okay um, and each um, each cartridge has a specific downforce um, for that cartridge that is provided with the, the cartridge right, and its serial number. what's the basic range? Is it it's between 2 and 2.5. 2. Okay, so it's slightly on the higher side, but that's fine. It's a little bit. And then um, this is a smaller, this is the one I can yes. take home with me. Thank you. <laughs> so this is uh, five times the then There's nothing, there's no former, there's no... It's a former there. Where is it? Yeah, it's a real thing, it's a, a very thin former there. Oh, I can't. See. Oh, I see. I, I see it. Okay, yeah, I see it. Okay, very interesting design. And how much is this going to cost? Uh, this is five thousand two hundred euros. Okay, so in America it'll be like eight thousand or something. Uh, approximately. Yeah. Okay, well that's 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 actually moderately priced <laughs> for where I am at. That's good, and I can talk to American Audio Technica about this. I yes, guess. absolutely. Yeah, they'll be uh, ready to talk to you about it. I see. Outstanding. Well, thank you so much. Okay, so, so this is the 6500 Verturé, which we just saw over there at the Marriott. And they're playing a British pressing. Now, do you know what lacquer and what stamper and what mother this record uh, was sourced from? Well, I will tell you that if you're interested. Yeah, please do. And if you're really nerdy, you are interested. You must be interested. So this is, an, this is that cartridge that we're going to hear. That's it. You've got a, a working sample. Okay, one second.